You're listening to Forest Focus with Philip Webster. Coming up next, I speak to a girl who's joined the Scouts and loving it. Hear from 12-year-old Verity Hater. Next up, after this from Belinda Carlisle, If You Go. I'd like to introduce you now to Verity Hater. Um, she's 12 years old, and uh, she's a member of the Gorsmoor Scout Group in Ferndown. And that, in fact, is the newest Scout Group in East Dorset, amazingly enough. And we're Verity at the moment. Hello, Verity. Hello. Hello to you. I'm very interested in the fact that you're a member of Gorsmoor Scout Group. Why not the Girl Guides? Um, I think it started in year two when all my friends came in with their little cross from the girl guides and they'd be like glitter, glitter shakers or we made cookies and I was never really into that I was more hands on with you, you were a bit more adventurous you wanted yeah. more adventurous things to do and um, you went to the uh, the scouts because now scouts uh, accept uh, girls as well of course but I don't think it's the same the other way around is it I don't think the girl guides accept boys no I don't think they do I don't think any many boys want to now with the scout group in Gorsmoor uh, is it a big group how many people are there over 30, that's for sure, and it's so big that we've had to... So normally we meet on a Friday night, and now we have to meet on Fridays and Mondays oh, because right. there's too many people. Yeah, two separate groups then. Yeah. And um, uh, how long uh, have you been associated with the Scout Group? Um, three years now. I You've been there quite a long time. So in terms of seniority, have you worked your up in the way of grades? I'm not sure how it works now. Um... Well, I think I'm one of the older ones now, since quite a few have left due to they're too old for it now. But when I was when I first started, I was we were in these like kind of patrols, and I was in the back of the patrol. And now I've worked my way to the front, which is like the leader of the, of the leader, patrol. Leader, leader patrol, excellent. And um, what's the ratio of uh, boys to girls? Have you got about fifty-fifty, or is it a lot less um, than that? There are quite a few less girls. There's around eight girls, and then the rest are boys. Right. Okay. Brilliant, okay. And, uh, well, you're engaged in some fairly good activities. Now, you've done some amazing things, Verity. Um, you've done an unaccompanied night hike at Order of the Boot. Tell us about that. Um, Order of the Boot, it was in March, and my team was of four people, and you go into this tent and you plot your route, and then you have to go do the route. And me and my three friends, we went out. It took us... Ooh, Good cup. We left at eight and we got back at four. So that was that six hours, I think. And we were the first team back that didn't disqualify ourselves. So right. we technically won the thing, which was very good. And yes. Yeah, it was very right. fun. Well, you did well on that. And you've played real life Monopoly in London. Tell us about that. Um, Monopoly Live was very fun. We obviously went to London and we'd have to run around the whole of London trying to find the places on the Monopoly boards. The only you could go on bus or tr the tube, but no scooters, no bikes. No. There were 7,000 scouts running around London that day. Right. And you were in teams of, I think, six. Um, we had three teams that entered. Of course, you can't compete against 7,000 no, other sure. people. No, that's right, yes. You had these sub-mini games, and these little games had seven groups in them. I came third in my sub-game. However, or my th group did the worst out of all three Gorsmoor teams. Oh, really? We, came, <laughs> we did the best in our kind of sub-game. In your sub-game. Sub oh, that's brilliant. OK, so you did pretty, pretty well then, overall. Yeah. And uh, that's a fascinating thing to do, isn't it? And uh, you also just completed a week's sailing on a 60-foot yacht. I that's know. really adventurous. Tell us about that. Where did you do this? Um, we went around the south coast. I did it with Discovery Sailing, and it was... I think the best I've done, it was the best kind of scout thing I've done so far. I absolutely loved it. I went with five other scouts and two leaders, and they everyone was fantastic. It was great. Lovely. I loved it. And it was a 60-foot boat. That's a really long boat, isn't it? That's like a, a world circumnavigation type boat. Mm. It was a 60-foot culvert called the Thermopylae Clipper. Oh. It was great, and I got my navigation or air and sea navigation on it which was the first bad or that was the first sea navigation that my scout leader had handed out so rather right, special. okay well that's worth doing isn't it and so the navigation so you have to start from scratch with your chart navigation i guess uh, were you used to maritime charts before not maritime ones i'm 
quite advanced on regular yeah. map reading because we go out on hikes yeah. and I do all the map reading then because I've got bad trust issues and I can't trust other people to take me places. But no, sure. yeah, the maritime ones, I was com- it was completely new to me. Yes, I knew I'm that. sure it was. That's right. Did you use any of the? I mean, there's a lot of equipment. Uh, you can have chart plotters and things like that. Um, did you use any of those to help you, or was it just purely manual? Um, well, we had paper maps and the chart plotter, and then they'd give me the logbook and I'd have to write down all the information from what had happened on the boat and then where we were and what the our yes. coordinates and all that. Yes, sure. And you had to navigate a leg of the journey. But that's pretty good going, isn't it, for a 12-year-old. Um, would you like to progress that and do some more in the way of sailing? I would love to do more sailing. They really got me into it. And I was supposed to go sailing yesterday, but it got cancelled due to the weather. Yes. And I would love to do some more So. Any yeah. op- any opportunities of the any opportunities yeah. the crew on you but you, you, you brought for it mm-hmm. absolutely fantastic well that's really good um, it's quite surprising what scouts actually get up to these days it's not just a matter of collecting badges is it you're, you're out there doing things we do all all types of adventurous stuff and we're still planning like at the end of the year we are hopefully going to do a camp that over the new year so we can celebrate it together but lovely okay well that's really super now the gorsmore scout group if people are listening to this and thinking that's really good i like that i like the sound of that i'd like to join how would they do that um we have a website so you can go onto gorsmore or you can contact our main scout leader daniel either through facebook or just his yes. email so yes. either lovely. would work they can come along and um, which days do you meet we meet on Fridays or Mondays, but if you're just to join, I reckon that you'd be put into the Monday slot if you can. Lovely. OK, well, it sounds very adventurous. It's a good thing to do, isn't it? And it's certainly opened up a lot of adventure for you, which you've enjoyed. Yeah. So that's brilliant. OK, thank you. And at the moment, you're a pupil at um, Ferndown Middle, Middle School. I've got quite a few friends there. Well, thank you very much indeed, Verity Hater, for telling us all about your adventures there, the Gorsmore Scouts Group, and all the things you've done. It sounds really interesting. Now, you have been set a task, and that is getting on TV or radio. And in fact, this is what you've done, because you've actually done an interview on the radio. And you wanted to introduce a Harry Styles song. And you're very interested in Harry Styles. Are you like Harry Styles music? Yes, I love Harry Styles. In fact, on the boat, I took, one of, I took two posters of Harry Styles, and we've got a video of two of the boys bowing down to him because <laughs> really? yeah it's, it's quite funny we're going to play a song now harry style song which song would you like to play and could you introduce it um if i could choose i'd choose matilda because that's my favorite yeah and gorsmore i know how much you love harry styles thanks to me so this one's for you lovely thank you very much indeed very hater for talking to us thank you it was a lovely time being on the radio <laughs> 